At the start of the movie, we're introduced to our main lead, Chigara Kuhn. He's a high school student known for his striking looks and exceptional athletic abilities. Almost every boy in the school envies him, while all the girls are after him. The scene then shifts to our heroine, Maya, who is secretly admiring her crush. While Chigara is practicing, all his fans, especially the girls, are cheering for him. Maya is also shown smiling, but not at him. She's staring at another boy named Yamada from the theater club. Turns out he's also popular at school for being very cute. Maya looks at her crush and calculates that it's been one and a half years since she loved him unrequitedly. She decides to finally ask him out and express her feelings. However, when she confesses her love, the cute boy makes a strange face and runs away. This devastates our heroine, so she heads to the library to be alone. Unfortunately, she learns that Yamada has created an online post where he has labeled her a stalker. Furious, she decides to unfollow him for good. Shortly after, Chigara, who also happens to be in the library, approaches Maya. They're classmates, but she doesn't really like them, as their cliques are different. He asks why she's feeling down, to which she reveals that she likes someone for a long time, without receiving any reciprocation. She also expresses her disappointment in love and affairs. Hearing this, the handsome guy advises her to smile, but she abruptly leaves. In the next scene, Maya's best friend Tezuka guesses why she must be feeling down. He correctly guesses that Yamada might have rejected her. It's revealed that Tezuka has had feelings for her girl ever since they were children. Later, while going home on the metro, Maya once again encounters Chigara, who asks her why she's not smiling. Our heroine reflects on her sadness, realizing it's because she used to smile while secretly following the cute boy. Now that he's no longer here, she feels unable to continue her one-sided love. All of a sudden, she gets overwhelmed with emotions and starts crying. Chigara feels bad for her, so he suggests that she follow him instead and play the game of one-sided, unrequited love. This way, she can get over Yamada sooner and save herself from a miserable life. Later, Maya goes home and thinks about it and makes a list of games for herself. She shifts her attention towards Chigara for the first time, hoping to move on from her earlier crush. The next day, she meets up with him and shows him the list. It includes counting how many times he notices her, counting the times whenever he talks to her, and also stalking him. Despite the strange stipulations, our handsome hero agrees to play the game as he wants to help her move on. From the next day onward, Maya immerses herself in the game. She diligently observes Chikara, counting the instances he notices her, tracking their shared metro rides, and noting how many times he acknowledges her presence. One time on the metro, he playfully asks her if she's stalking him. Maya doesn't respond to this, but says their game has begun. On their way out, our hero tries to be friendly with her. He expresses that if she wants, he can help her a little bit. Maya asks what kind of help, and he suggests that he can share more about himself. This will make it easier for them to play the game. When Maya agrees to do it, he discloses his morning running routine and invites her to join him. The following day, she gets up early and starts following him during his run. However, she runs for so long that she injures her legs badly. That day, it became difficult for Maya to attend school because she is literally limping due to the excessive morning exercise. Thankfully, her best friend Tezuka comes to her aid and helps her up the stairs. In the classroom, Maya sees numerous gifts for Shikara from his fans. This makes her feel special, as a popular guy is giving her a lot of attention. As she continues staring at his desk with a smile on her face, Tezuka notices her. He asks if she started to like Shikara, but our girl denies it, saying that they're only friends. To continue the game, Maya goes to Shikara after class. However, when she locates him playing football, an unexpected incident occurs as the ball hits her face. Thankfully, she isn't hurt and her hero carries her away. As he tends to her injuries, he asks why she's struggling in the morning. This is when he discovers the bandages on her legs. He asks about them, and Maya finally reveals that her newfound one-sided love game has inspired her to copy his actions, including taking up running. But since it was her first time doing so, she hurt her legs in the process. Maya then eagerly asks if there's anything she can do for him. Chigara, after a brief pause, touches her cheeks, saying he likes doing that. He insists that no one else is allowed to touch them apart from him. This interaction leaves Maya blushing, as it's evident that both of them have started to like each other. That night, she receives a message from Chigara inviting her on a date. Our heroine happily goes to the location and finds him waiting for her at a temple. It turns out that visiting the temple with her crush was one of the things included in their game list. Therefore, Chigara took the initiative to ask her out on a date. The two then spend some quality time together and even go shopping. At a toy store, Maya sees a very cute doll key ring, but she refrains from buying it after learning that it's actually a couple doll. The date continues with our hero sharing personal details, including having a five-year-old sister. Later, he gifts Maya the couple doll and asks her to keep it as a reminder of him. This sweet gesture leaves her feeling extremely happy. But that's not all. Before parting ways, he holds her hand and kisses her goodbye. 
Maya is undoubtedly left with blushing cheeks, and she can't stop thinking about what just happened. Later, when Jagara returns home, his sister notices his jolly mood and inquires about the reason. With a smile on his face, he says that he made a new friend who is really cool. The following day at school, Maya is also in a good mood. She's holding on to the couple doll that our hero had given her. However, her joy is short-lived when Yamada approaches her and starts making fun of her. He calls her ugly and questions her audacity to propose to him. Our poor girl feels miserable after hearing such harsh words from him. But just when she's about to cry, Chigara shows up. He takes her side and berates Yamada in front of everyone, embarrassing him. Later, Maya's closest friend Chika advises her to treat the game seriously. She warns her not to fall in love with Chigara as it may lead to complications. Heeding the advice, Maya starts avoiding and ignoring him, but she doesn't reveal the reason behind her change in behavior. Our hero attempts to communicate with her in the library, but she remains evasive. Just then, another girl Miyu arrives at the scene and asks him to meet her for an urgent matter. It's revealed that she's had feelings for him for a long time. After some time, Jagara returns and once again asks Maya why she's been avoiding him. He also asks her whether they should end the one-sided love game. Maya remains mum, but she accidentally gets her clothes stained with some acrylic paint. In an attempt to make amends, Chigara lends her his jacket. Later, when Tezuka notices her wearing the jacket, he gets jealous. He realizes that time is running out for him, so he goes ahead and confesses his feelings. However, Chigara interrupts him, asserting his claim over Maya. This causes tension to rise between the two, but before an argument can break out, Tezuka walks away from there. Maya also returns his jacket as she wants to avoid unnecessary attention. She then heads to the storeroom where her clothes are drying. At the room, Tezuka approaches her with a list of love games, expressing his willingness to play with her. He explains that if she only wanted to mend her broken heart, she should have come to him first. However, Maya doesn't reply to him and prepares to leave the room. Tezuka grabs her and hugs her from behind and confesses his feelings for her, but sadly, she leaves without responding. At this point, our heroine realizes that her feelings for Shigara are genuine. Not knowing what to do, she confides in her friend Chika. The latter is happy to hear this and she encourages her to follow what her heart says. She also talks about the strained friendship between Tezuka and Shigara, which was once strong, but eventually soured. It turns out the two boys were in the same athletic club and used to be best buddies. However, a misunderstanding caused a dispute between them and they have been at odds ever since. The following day, Tezuka tries to make Chigara jealous by telling him that he hugged Maya the other day. As a result, our hero confronts her and warns her not to let anyone else touch her. He even kisses her on the neck, marking her as his girl. Unbeknownst to them, they're being watched by a group of girls at the school. When Maya learns that they've caused a scene, she becomes worried and hastily leaves. As she rushes out of the school, she nearly gets into an accident. Shigara arrives at the right time and saves her, but in the process, he sustains leg injuries. As a result, he's admitted to the hospital for treatment. Maya is deeply affected by the incident and blames herself for everything. But since she can't do anything to help him, all she does is pray for his recovery. Fortunately, after a few weeks, her prayers are heard and he is discharged from the hospital. One day, the photo of Shigara kissing Maya becomes viral all over social media. This causes an uproar amongst the female fans and they start mocking our heroine. They call her ugly and unworthy of being his girlfriend. But despite the humiliation, she cheers for Chikara during the school's running competition. The other girls are jealous to see her again and they make fun of her as usual. But they also cheer for our hero who is the heartthrob of the school. After a while, Chigara eventually wins the race, causing the girls to go crazy. However, Maya, overwhelmed by the public ridicule, retreats to the school library. Chigara notices this from afar, so he also leaves the competition and follows her. Upon reaching the library, he confesses his long-standing, unrequited love for her. It turns out he used to like her even before they met for the first time in this library. Just like how Maya used to stalk Yamada, he used to stalk her from a distance because he liked her. Hearing this, our girl becomes emotional and she reciprocates her feelings for him. The two then share a romantic kiss, bringing the movie to an end.